Hey folks, this is Adrian Richards, and I'm going to show you how you can redirect a subdomain of your domain name to Facebook so you have a nice short URL. So how do we go about doing that? Well, the first thing is you need a domain name. This example I'm using is going to uh, reference how GoDaddy uses theirs. So if we go to GoDaddy.com, that's who we're going to be uh, redirecting the, dom the subdomain through. So let's go back over to Google.com because all of the instructions you need, which I'll be walking you through, you can find by doing uh, redirect a subdomain GoDaddy. Right, so type that into Google and then creating and forwarding a subdomain. So we're basically going through these instructions. Now, uh, the madness right now is everyone's like, I want um, a Facebook page, you know, vanity URL, and some people don't have enough fans. You have to have at least 25 to get them, right? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little workaround. So we're going to go over to uh, Facebook and we're going to go to your, your page that you have, right? In this case, I'm using Fresh Workshops where I do live online training. And here we have this address at the top. Now, what I'm actually going to do is take out those numbers and the variables because I don't think we need them. And I'll hit enter. So I'm going to copy this address and turn it into a subdomain. So now I'm going over to my domain manager, which you all, if, which you have if you have GoDaddy, otherwise you have something similar. I'm going to Fresh Workshops, which is the domain I will be adding the subdomain for. And when, when you sign into GoDaddy and you look at all of your information for your domain name, here's what it looks like. I don't actually host with GoDaddy. I just use them to manage my domain name because they're very flexible. If you scroll down to the bottom, on the left here, you can create additional subdomains. Uh, GoDaddy gives you 90. I don't know who's going to use 90, but I've certainly have used three. So here we go. We're making a subdomain. I'm going to type in Facebook. And then it's going to say, well, where do you want to forward that to for your subdomain? I want to forward it there. And in this case, we'll say move permanently because it's not going to change. This would just be the permanent address. Now, the thing here is, folks, this will take a bit of time to go into effect based on your hosting and based on the internet traffic and stuff. So I can certainly test it right now, but um, it will probably take a bit. So when it is ready, though, what I will be able to tell people to do is go to facebook.freshworkshops.com. So I think that looks pretty nice. So with that, folks, take care and feel free to ask me to make a quick video to explain something for you. Thanks.